we have been on quite a roll here in Way the Hunter as of late, just stumbling into five stars whether we like it or not. And because we've been doing so well out here on Nez Perce Valley, I thought we'd just try to pick up right where we left off and head out today in our UTV. Now you may recall based on where we left off last time, we've been working on earning credits to taxidermy all of those five stars that we kept on stumbling into in the last video. And since then, I've worked on a number of the missions, including a bit more of the story than I meant to do. And we're to the point now where we have a mission that requires us basically to harvest one of each big game animal here on Nez Perce Valley. And it's a pretty good mission in terms of reward, 2,500 credits. And I think we can go through and get all these other than Mountain Goat and Black Bear, by the way, which probably would be the hardest two to just easily find. And I got to thinking about it after reading out that list. And I think we better try to get a bighorn first. I feel like I have a better idea of where they are kind of early in the morning. And it's close to bighorn drink time. So we're up here at this big lake by one of the cabins. And there are some bighorn out there. Now, at one time, we had a four star out there, but it's probably died of old age by now. None of these look great. That one's okay. I guess maybe we better try to get into the spotting range just in case. Because we've been on quite a hot streak lately and it'd be a shame to ruin a future five star so that one is a three star mature and then we have a one star adult there i thought i saw two with a decent curl i would probably say shooting a three star mature is okay and it looks like it must be this one out front so let's go for that about 275 yards away should be a pretty doable shot i think it's still that one there we're going to zero for 328 and go low. I feel like that's going to be a vital hit. Hopefully it is. We should find out fairly soon. The fact that he's kind of... All right. I never saw him kind of stumble, but... Suppose we got him? But just like that, I think the most challenging of the five is crossed off the list. I do want to see it was a double long shot just about perfectly where we wanted it. It was such an odd reaction. Maybe because he was by the water. 66% though, exactly what we want to get out of the herd. And 400 credits to go oh along God. with it. Also, by the way, because this is a story mission, River will talk a little bit. And we've only done the missions on stream, but I wanted to kind of incorporate it into a video as well. Now, the next order of business is to get a moose. And I'm choosing to go for moose for a very particular reason. And that's because we're just getting into drink time for elk and deer species and there's a couple of animals i want to check on you may recall i think it was the video before all the five stars where we got the five star whitetail we had spotted a three star adult and quite a lot of time in game has passed since then i just want to make sure he has an age to the point that we want to take him out so for now we'll try to get a moose and by the time we get it down we should be able to go and find that buck it's just a one star young but it definitely looks to be maybe subpar genetics, so if we can find a place to get a shot through here, and it may have to be up around this brush, I think we can maybe go ahead and take that one. I feel pretty confident he won't be, you know, upwards of, say, 90% anyway. And in fact, he is standing right there. Just perfect timing to come over that hill. And that'll get the... I wouldn't say second most difficult one off the list, but... One that I was wanting to get before they kind of all went and rested in the trees instead of being out in the open. And so the big question with this one is, are we going to be right about the genetics? We have a double lung shot. Again, the fact that that drops them is wild. But 89%, that may have been. He is uneven though. Because we can see it. If we turn this, definitely very different antlers. That's interesting. I almost wonder, because sometimes you'll see high percentages and it's like a two-star mature. It might have been one of those that just wasn't quite going to get there. We'll never know for sure. But then again, we're trying to get credits. We get 450 for selling that, plus the 2500 eventually for completing the mission. I think we can make that sacrifice if it was indeed something that would have been special one day. The problem, though is that the herd of whitetail does not appear to be here. And I did come back after that video and confirm, they drink at this lake. This particular zone right here is the one that 
that her uses. So I'm guessing maybe it's a rarely used drink stone. I don't remember. So if we got to come back later, we will, even if it's just kind of working the area looking for a feed zone. But there's a bunch of mule deer here, including a three star mature. Now, I don't love shooting three star mature mule deer because they definitely can age and reach four star. But again, for the sake of the mission, I think we could take that guy. I think I just said they can age and reach four star, by the way. I meant five star, obviously. But even still, a three star mature most times will reach four. He looked a little gray, though, so hopefully we're okay in taking that shot. And moment of truth, hopefully we don't have a repeat of the moose from earlier. That guy was 62%. That's exactly what we want. And frankly, he may not have aged to reach four stars. So go figure. But that is three of the five done. And before we completely abandon the whitetail herd, we might check some of the other lakes around here just in case. Maybe they have another zone they use. That is the herd icon. So there's a lot of lakes around they could also go to and... I mean, there's a campsite here. Wouldn't be hard to check them. Unfortunately, though, I am seeing no sign of that herd of whitetail or any herd of whitetail around all these lakes. But I do think I may have a way of figuring out just how dire the situation is if we really should focus all of our attention on that whitetail right now in case he has aged. But in order to do that, we'll have to take a look back at a clip from just a couple days ago from when we were trying to stream the game and the internet was just not cooperating. If you guys caught Monday's live stream, or what was meant to be Monday's live stream, you may recall that the stream ended up going down and the upload speed just would not return. While trying to fix everything, we've been walking around here on Nez Perce Valley, and there's a mule deer in here, you may have just seen that. There is a five star mature. So, we're gonna attempt to get in a position to take him. We don't have a caller, so we're gonna have to kind of scoot down here, but it's mule deer drink time, so I think he's just gonna kind of slow down there. As long as we can slowly work our way to maybe 250 yards, I think we'll have a shot. I wanna say that one there is our buck. Or is that a four star? Okay. That could be a little problematic if there's both a four and a five. They definitely know we're here. So we gotta be careful, but they're walking down their broadside and we can just find the right buck. This is just about perfect. There's one out front there that looks decent. That's our buck all the way in the front. So if we can get this lined up, it's about 219, I think. This looks like a good window. That should be him there. Can we just slot this in? That looks like pink blood. He reacted really odd, but I think we got him. I, ooh, wait. Was that just an animation? That looked weird. It was almost like we hit the dough. We couldn't have, that wouldn't make any sense. Hopefully we got him. I'm feeling a little less than confident now, but if we did, we're putting ourselves further and further behind in terms of actually making money to do the tax army we were already behind on, but this would actually complete the three mule deer multi-mount I've been trying to do. As for the blood, that's it right there. Super promising, good and bright pink. Just need to figure out the direction. There's deer running everywhere. By the way, this is that spot all the way in the southeast that's always been good for mule deer. We haven't had anything good here in a while, but clearly some of the young deer that we just kind of let age did start to look pretty good. We had the five star there and that promising four star, but I think we got our buck. Just gonna be a matter of following the tracks now. In fact, he's literally laying right there. He only went maybe 50 yards and hopefully that was the right one. It was a little bit of a tight window. Let's take a look and see, actually we should take a quick photo before we do that. And I'm not going to worry too much about making it perfect because he already is laying with his antler under the ground. I think that should be a five star rack though. Let's see if we got the right deer. Made a double lung shot, right lung being the main organ that ended up being the kill shot. And indeed a five star buck, 93.93%. So we got the right deer. The total score was 477, so not too bad. And I should explain too, because you may be wondering why I sort of was rushing to get that shot in that window. So I explained that Monday's stream kind of went down and just in the process of trying to fix it, 
I found that deer. That just happened for me. Obviously, by the time this video comes out, it's been a couple of days, but if you were caught up with the schedule, we swapped Monday's live stream to Tuesday and did a video then, late Monday night. I've got to edit that still, but I wanted to make sure we got that five star after finding him. And now we have yet another thing to work to get money to be able to tax mize. So you may have caught it in there. There was also a four star mature mule deer. And just based on how much time has passed in game so far, if that mule deer is a five star, I would feel pretty confident that another aging cycle has happened and that that white tail may indeed also be a five star. So we're going to head back down there while it's still mule deer drink time and see if maybe we can learn something from that herd. And worst case, maybe we can help out with those genetics because they still seem to be pretty good down there. Even that though, is turning out to be more difficult than I would have expected. I was able to find a herd of mule deer down here, but it was very clearly the wrong one. There was no four stars, no five stars, and there are always two herds of mule deer that drink at this lake. It's the one of course down here in the Southeast. And I'm just guessing Maybe we have the perfect combo on this day where that herd of whitetail is not drinking at their lake and the herd of mule deer that we want isn't drinking at this lake. So let's worry about the mission for now. We'll go get an elk and find a whitetail elsewhere. And then I think what we're going to do is go to that lake with the whitetail, find their trail where they walk in and out and try to backtrack that to a feed zone or something like that. That's the best thing I could think of. So... It took a little bit of calling to get him out of the trees, but a one star adult elk looks perfect for what we need. We can try to hard shot that with the 300. I think we may have, that's a lot of blood. Though he's already gone further than I would have thought. We have shot them and they've gone further than that with the hard shot, but regardless, that's gonna get him and all we need for the mission is a whitetail. You know, we didn't actually go all that far right about 25 yards, and we did indeed hit him directly in the heart. Compare that to the moose that we shot earlier, that we double lunged in the insta drop. This guy with a hard shot still ran 30 or so yards. He did a bit of a loop, so it was a little further than like the straight across distance, but not bad. 34% exactly what you want to take out of the herd, last and one. that leaves us with the last one. Harvest a white-tailed deer. And imagine that, when you're not after a particular herd, they're not that bad to find. They're kind of moving around right now as if they are maybe leaving a zone. I don't think it's one o'clock yet. It's pretty close, but maybe that's why they're leaving. We could just try to call in a doe or a young buck. Maybe we can just do that again. I hate to kind of break away from the idea of managing these herds correctly, but at the same time, we're trying to get credits and do the missions and one here and there is not that bad. Actually, even still, that guy's just sort of standing in the open. We can probably get him. Just need to slot that shot in there correctly. It looked good. And you know, that's a little bit of a better specimen. I don't know if it's this same herd or another herd, but they're just standing over there. So in case, Maybe we didn't make as good a shot as we appeared to. We'll take that guy too. And then, what does the blood look like? I'm actually not seeing any. It had to be standing right there. We marked it at the shot. That was lucky. Evidently, the shot was not that good. As you can see, according to the blood trail analysis, the animal survived. So, good thing we shot that other one. And that will at least complete the mission. Hopefully, this doesn't like advance the story majorly. I imagine we'll get some sort of audio lines from River, but I'm hoping we won't have a big thing from here, and we may, so we'll see where we get to, but that, luckily, will be enough to complete the mission, get us the 2,500 credits, and that's going to help us quite a bit, but kill figure, lucked right into taking that guy, even with a subpar shot there, right lung and liver, got to clean up the shot placement a bit for 51%, all good with that. This will be the best party ever. And I think we're going to not check the mailbox, but that's the thing. That's going to get us the 2,500 credits, so I guess we need to. And I'm just hoping this doesn't trigger, like, a long walkie-talkie conversation, because that is a part of these missions. This is one of the comics, actually. 
I almost want to save that for the stream because they're pretty lengthy. I guess we'll do that. So, I learned something. It turns out, whether you hit escape or play, it still opens the comic and proceeds. I hit skip because I thought maybe that would not continue things, and it did. So we got the 2500 credits, I didn't even get to see what the comic was, but we're at a point now where we basically want to focus on that herd of whitetail, because I don't know where the mule deer are, and we have now three five-star mule deer, perfect in fact for a multi-mount. We only had the one five-star whitetail, and if this guy has aged, I really want to make sure we find him. So we're going to go down to the zone, look for the trail they use, and try to locate him by that. So it may not be the deer themselves, but I think we have something here. This is the feed zone from the herd of whitetail that drinks down at that lake, which should have the three-star adult, which who knows what he is now. You may notice also our credits have changed. I have since streamed the Transylvania stream over on YouTube if you saw that. So that's the reasoning for that. Nothing has changed here on Nez Perce. And hopefully now we can find that buck. I just feel like this entire hunt has been chaotic and I apologize for that. But as you can see on screen, we finally located the four star mule deer, which leads me to believe our whitetail is out here somewhere. I just can't seem to find that either. We got the feed zone, I saw some whitetail in the area, but not the right herd. And at this stage, I do think it's still a 4 star, so I don't think we need to get too worried about finding it right now. So I figure we'll just kind of wander around and see if we can find anything else. We will spend some time in the area, I would love to find maybe another zone for them. And maybe we can run into them, but from all the time that we've spent looking for those two deer, we are over 10,000 credits, which certainly will help. And maybe by the end we'll be able to toss everything in the lodge. As per usual though, kind of late in the day like this, we're not finding a lot of stuff, but I remember this other herd of mule deer. We've got a four star mature there too, so that's something else to look at. And while we know that we've got quality genetics here, maybe something like that two star mature would be worth taking out. It's about 300 yards away, but they're gonna walk into the trees pretty soon. It should be I think it's that guy there. I hope it is. That's gonna be the one that we go for. And it appears to be Pink Blood. If it's not the right one, it didn't look like one with great promise anyway. And I don't actually know that we had the time to spot again before they got into the trees, but I wanted to be sure to get something because it's getting pretty late, past seven o'clock now. So, did we take the correct deer? It looks pretty gray. We got him in the right lung at 274 yards, and it was a two-star mature, but even at that, 81%, maybe one that's like kind of young into the mature stage, because at the time of the shot, I thought he looked a little bit brown. So maybe he could have gotten to three or maybe four stars, but definitely never five. So even with that high genetic potential, I don't think that's a bad one to take out. I would assume the four stars higher than that. So hopefully that helps with that herd. And Probably unsurprisingly, we're back here in the area of that whitetail. I'm still trying to figure that out, and I just don't know where it might be. But hopefully going forward, especially if they've not actually aged anyway, we can find him, and maybe he'll get to 5-star. I would like to think a 3-star adult has a good chance. And if the mule deer hasn't aged, I don't think the whitetail will have died of old age. So regardless, we've got to get back to the trophy lodge. We do have a 5-star mule deer, as well as a bunch of stuff to actually mount. So luckily, we had enough to get everything done, and now we'll take a kind of mini tour through here. This being the biggest kind of addition or change, I really like how that turned out. We have the two four-star mule deer underneath it, three five-stars up top. I just think this whole area is becoming one of the best spots in the lodge. We have the elk on the side, obviously the five-star elk from recently underneath, all the five-star mule deer, and then up above that too, is our Bighorn multi-mount with the two five stars and the black one from the mission. Then, up to here we have our five star whitetail, couple of old things here, and kind of the upstairs centerpiece. Our five star black bear with the five star moose. I just think that's really neat. Among all these elk too, it almost, weirdly enough, they're almost all kind of watching. <laughs> I didn't realize that till just now, but I really like it. As soon as I saw this multi-mount was a thing, I wanted to do it, and Frankly, I never thought we'd kill a five-star bear. Finally, that happened last time, and 
we got to do that. I also did, in order to gain some more credits, the black bear mission, the aggressive black bear. So this one is unique because obviously it's got the blood on its mouth. And I found this spot that you could mount black bear in. I think just because it's a mission animal, much like the black bighorn sheep. We'll put it here at least for now. I thought it would make sense with the moose, but we had the five star. I love the idea of keeping the two together. I think that is pretty cool. So a lot of stuff, a lot of new additions, a lot of changes to this lodge. It's just my favorite trophy lodge in any hunting game ever. I love the design of it. Having the like rock platforms on the wall really, really adds to it. It's been such a blast. I'm so glad we got the five star mule deer to complete that mount as well. We had the two for forever. And honestly, I don't even know which one it is. They all look really good up there. All of them have like the ivory tines. Just a really cool map. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video, as chaotic as it was. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.